Hello! This is my very first attempt at a Let's Play for YouTube. I'm going to play Half-Life 2 Episode 1. This is actually not the beginning of the Half-Life 2 story. The game Half-Life 2 comes before this, which I just finished playing. Uh, probably would have been better for me to Let's Play that first, but uh, I was already most of the way through it when I decided I was going to try to start Let's Playing, so it was a little too late. So I went ahead and finished it, and now I'm going to play Episode 1, which is kind of like the little expansion. There's Episode 1 and Episode 2 that came after it. Of course, these are uh, several years old. These are older games, but um, I think the Half-Life and Half-Life 2 are considered some of the very best first-person shooters of all time, some of the best PC games of all time, and uh, I agree. I really loved... I played Half-Life 1. I didn't play it until last year even though it was many years old and I finally played it last year and I really liked it even though the graphics were extremely dated um, I found it very immersive and just thought it was awesome and then I played Half-Life 2 just now uh, just in the last couple weeks and was really impressed with it um, the storytelling, the immersion um, even for an older game with s slightly dated graphics now it uh, has definitely held up, and it's a great game that everyone should play. Um, my name's Josiah, and I hope to do many more Let's Plays after this. I've been watching some for a while now on YouTube, and I really enjoy them. So I'm going to try doing some of my own now. And it's a little unusual for me to be playing these games because... I usually play RPGs uh, or strategy games mostly, but mostly RPGs, so I haven't played very many first-person shooters ever, which probably explain why I haven't played Half-Life and Half-Life 2 until just recently. Um, so this is only about the third or fourth first-person shooter I've ever even played, so I'm not very good at them, uh, but I'm, I'm trying to expand beyond just playing RPGs and stuff. Although, I will probably play plenty of RPGs on my channel, um, but I'm going to mix in things like this. So I plan to play this, Episode 1, and then Half-Life 2, Episode 2, immediately thereafter. And probably then Portal, which again is another game that I haven't played, but of course everybody's played Portal and thinks it's great. And I haven't played it, so I'm probably going to play that immediately after these two shorter Half-Life 2 kind of expansion games. And then, who knows after that. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump into this brand new game. I'm playing this blind, of course. New game. Let's see. I'm excited. First time. Let's playing. See how it goes. <laughs> I'm using fraps to record this. Hopefully the sound volume, the volume and, and my voice and everything is fine. We'll see. If not, I'll adjust things. Hmm. So at the end of Half-Life 2... Tell me about the Freeman if you can. You have destroyed so much. This is the G-Man. Exactly oh, that's Dr. Breen. He said these lines at, in Half-Life 2 at, toward the end right before I stopped him from teleporting out of the top of the Citadel, which is this huge building. Yeah, this is how Half-Life 2 just ended, right? I blew up their portal that he was trying to escape in. This is Alex, Alex Vance, my friend. I'm Gordon Freeman, of course, the star of Half-Life 2, even though he never speaks. He's a theoretical physicist who doesn't do a lot of physics. He mostly just shoots things. And here we have Vortigaunts showing up. Oh, and they seem to have interrupted this sort of frozen moment of time, I guess. They've taken Alex. I guess they're saving her. These are the aliens that we're allied with. Ah, and here's the G-Man. Mysterious figure. I don't know what his deal is, but he shows up at the end of... Half-Life and Half-Life 2. Well, like, puts Gordon in stasis or something. It's very creepy, mysterious. 
Oh, so it looks like the Vortigaunts have, like, interfered with what he wanted to do. Taking us away. And he doesn't look too happy about it, but that's good for us. Undo alarm. Here we go. Oh, dog, the friendly robot that Alex made. Looks like it's, he's rescuing us. Yay! Hi, dog. Oh, wow, look at that sky. Drop what you're doing and help me. Don't drop what oh you're doing. Gordon. Oh, Alex is happy to see us. I wonder how long it's been. Oh, I'm in control. Okay. Hey, the gravity gun. Give it to him, dog. Yay! I love the gravity gun. It's a lot of fun. Thank you, dog. There, Gordon. Is that all I have? I yeah. <laughs> okay, dog. Go get the monitor set up so we can check in with my dad. He must be very sick about us. He was so sure I wouldn't find you here. The Citadel's really coming apart. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of rubble here. Mm-hmm. Me too. <laughs> hey, there's Eli Vance. Important scientist friend of ours. And Alex's dad, as you've probably gathered. The graphics look a little improved in some way from Half-Life 2. Maybe just the lighting or something? I don't know. It looks really good, though, considering how old this game is. Okay, so the gravity gun. I can pick things up and throw them around. See, I picked up that little piece of wood. Everyone has probably played Half-Life 2 and or this or it's familiar with it, so I'll be like explaining things about the gameplay as I go that probably don't need explaining to almost anyone, but so, uh, I'm stuck down here not quite sure what I'm expected to do, oh there you go, lots of fun little physics puzzles, and they're not really very puzzling just sort of fun physics things you do to proceed through Half-Life 2 things like that you got a lot of manipulation of the environment. Health packs, thank you. Ah, oh, Dr. Vance. Wonder how long it's been. Listen, you two have to get out of the city. The citadel could blow at any moment. Yeah, well, that doesn't sound good. I'm afraid. Our remote sensors indicate the process is accelerating toward a dark energy flare. Yes. Anyone left in the vicinity will be subjected to energetic events. Energetic events? No, no. Okay, well, I personally don't like my cellular material being ravaged, so. I vote for us getting out of here. Undo alarm. Actually, we're right by harm's way. I just looked at a map of harm's way, and there's a big thing saying you are here, pointing right to the middle of harm's way. Papa Blah, science speak. I do. I'm wearing a suit that protects me and gives me armor and a flashlight, zoom lens, and the ability to sprint. I, on the other hand, will probably be forced to take all sorts of unnecessary risks. Well, she's got dog. How much danger could she really be in? She's a very powerful robot. And friendly. Let's see if we can find a way into the citadel from somewhere along the rim. 
Sounds good. Let's do that. I don't know what happened to all my guns and stuff, but... I don't even have the crowbar. The iconic crowbar. But the gravity gun's pretty awesome. You can do some good stuff with it. Thanks, dog. You don't mind if I don't pat you. But... Oh, okay. Crouch. That doesn't look good. Uh, okay. That looks like instant death. Are you coming down? Waiting for me? What's this? It's all this. Oh, there she is. Ooh. Oh. Kind of scary. Alright, what I'm going to do right now is actually pause this for just a second. Uh, so I can check and make sure the volume and everything is okay with this video. And then I'll resume momentarily.